Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. I've got a really fun video today. Fun for me because I get to eat and drink a little bit too. So today I am actually doing an unboxing and review of these amazing chocolates by Charbonnel, Charbonnel and Walker. And Charbonnel and Walker is a company based in the UK that was able to do a collaboration with Eon to do a 007 James Bond grouping of chocolates. And I'm going to try the chocolates today. But you know, chocolates on their own, uh, I mean, it's okay, the chocolate, but I think I wanted to do something a little bit more elegant because this is a very elegant deluxe brand. So I, I wound up uh, chilling the, the Piper Heidsick. I've got the Piper Heidsick. I've got my champagne glass here. And what I'm gonna do is a, a light pairing. I think chocolate and wine goes incredibly well. But chocolate and champagne, hoofa, absolutely fantastic. This company, by the way, has been incredibly communicative. They've been great to the fans. Um, they, I think they know what they have in having a Bond brand. They launched on the 007.com store, but obviously this stuff is going to be available. I'll put that little puppy down here, and here we go. Let's see. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. Did I hear champagne? Where did you come from? I heard champagne and I heard something about chocolate. So, um, yeah, that's all it takes. No, I, I, I get it. I get it. It's kind of my, it's kind of my thing. This. Well, no, the champagne and chocolate. And that's, that's my thing. Okay. All right. You know, I actually, I would have loved to invited you for this. I, uh -huh. I brought only one glass. So one glass, that's all we got. So. Uh, I'm all set. I'm good. I got Where my own. did you even hide that? <laughs> do you walk around with that? I sure do. All right. All right. I'll, you know what? This this makes sense. I mean, these chocolates are, are meant to be shared mm -hmm. and they are chocolates and you happen to like chocolate. I do. Now, what are, what are your what's your favorite? You like dark chocolate, right? I do. I do prefer dark chocolate and I eat chocolate every day. So and um, it's, it's healthy for you, it wouldn't is. you say? It's very good for you. It's very high in magnesium. Mm which you need if you exercise a lot. Yeah. It helps to relax the muscles and you need to replenish that after sweating. Isn't so. it good for the prostate? But no, I seem Mine. to lack one. Yeah, no, I just, I'm I saying in general. later. Like it brings down inflammation, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Am I, I think it, Inflammation? I don't know. Chocolate's so good for you. How can it be bad? It's delicious. Mm. All right, so let me, uh, first of all, cheers. Yes, cheers. You know what, it's nice to have you here doing this. this Thank is, you. I don't want to do it alone. Oh, oh, sweet mother's milk. That's delicious. Mm. Tiny bubbles. Yes, it's you... very good, but... We're here to talk about chocolate. All right, so I want to describe each one because it's really, it, it, it's very interesting to me. They have different versions. So um, this one right here, we're going to start with this because I've been told to go in a particular order. Ooh, okay. we've, had, we've had chocolate sommiers. Oh. to actually direct us through this this tasting. So right here, I've got their fine British milk chocolate bar. Okay. So you'll see right away that we've got a 007 emblazoning. It's uh, beautifully embossed and it reads as following. Exuding 007 style, we celebrate James Bond with this fine British milk chocolate butler's bar mm -hmm. in dashing Union Jack livery. So here's the Union Jack on it. Oh, the packaging is really cool. So let me explain what the butler bar um, and, and this whole thing. This has a um, the royal warrant on it, oh. which means um, the queen mother uh, enjoys this. She doesn't approve of this. She doesn't approve of this. I bet, well, she does enjoy champagne, though. But she approves of this particular brand. Charbonnel and Walker have been around since, I want to say, 1875. Ooh, okay. And it was a combination of, of two women oh. coming together. Nice. It was um, Mademoiselle uh, Charbonnel, Mademoiselle Charbonnel uh, was a fine chocolatier in Paris, obviously. Yeah, that does not sound British. Sorry, magnifique. That's it. That's on my high school French <laughs> coming into practice. And on top of that, uh, we have, I should have gotten a knife. Uh, 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 I want the knife. You're such a nerd that just you knew that. Just point where there may be a knife laying around. So there is a switchblade in the Dr. No section. Dr. No. Go to Dr. No. That's this way. And get coral switchblade. Folks, this is happening real time. Uh, it's right on top there. It's it's a switchblade. Ah. You can't miss it. I think it's out already, though. 
It is out. Is you got to keep the blade out or the spring gets bad. Okay, thank you. Because what I want to do is I want to keep these boxes because, you know, this was hard for me. These are collectibles. Oh. And, and right? I mean, I'm like, do you, but you have to eat chocolate, Chocolate's right? Chocolate's meant to be eaten. I'm sorry. So I have to explain about um, Mrs. Walker. Mrs. Miss, Walker. Mrs. Are we going to be nervous about the whole Mrs. Kensington. So uh, first of all, when you open it, you get that nice kind of Willy Wonka moment. Um, where it's nicely wrapped. So Mrs. Walker was um, created boxes and displays and ribbons. Ah, okay. So Mademoiselle Chabanel and Mrs. Walker, who was a boxier, actually came together to create these experiences. It wasn't just the chocolate. It was about the boxes as well. Mm. All right, so ready? We're going to do the smell. Ooh. What's it smell like? No chocolate? Yeah, it smells creamy. All right, so this is, this is this is how we do it. So there's looks like chocolate, and um, here's a taste. Thank you. I also gave her the smallest piece. What's wrong with me? So chivalrous. Here we go. Now English milk chocolate. It's a high level of cream. Milk, a lot of milk. A lot of milk, a lot of sugar. So this, I can see why they want us to try this first, because it's sweet, it's light. Mm -hmm. It's like if you were doing a wine tasting, you'd want to start with a really light wine and work yourself up to a bold red. So mm. <laughs> this is your kind of stuff. I'm, I'm doing like a happy dance. I do. I like I like the milk chocolate. I think I could be an Englishman easily because there's a lot of consumption of milk chocolate. Mm. Sweet, creamy chocolate. Very sweet, very creamy. Mm-hmm. You want bite? Reminiscent of like Cadbury of years past, mm. but more creamy, more refined. There's definitely a lot of sm there's smoothness. I was it. just going to say, yeah. Ooh, did you, did you have a little champagne oh. afterwards? No, it's good. The combination before and after the chocolate takes on a different taste with the champagne, it enhances it. But the, you're right, the smoothness. Now, I've had milk chocolate where it's like very chalky. Yeah, this is not chalky. This is not chalky at all. Wow, that's really good. Hmm. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for now. This is such a hard, this is a hard job. <laughs> this is, this is the part of the hobby I don't like. Yeah. And this, mm, I suffer through it with you. So, <laughs> you really do. <laughs> so this is very cool. So this is a, a series of mini chalk, mini chocolates. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool how you're doing that forced perspective. But uh, different movies. I mean, you've got um, Casino Royale here. You've got something oh, else. Oh, very cool. You've got The Spy Who Loved Me. You've got a 007. But let me, um, let me, there's a pretty, yeah, everything is so beautifully wrapped. Yeah, so we're going to. The gonna, packaging is really pretty. I know. I hate to do it. There it goes. It's okay. I have an extra one oh, for display. But you got to eat chocolate. It's going to go bad. Yes. By the way, even the back has these really nice kind of stickers and foils. So we're gonna open this up. I love this because this is something, I guess you could do at a party. You could give these away or like or there's like just individuals. enjoy them. So here's the, uh, yeah, <laughs> just enjoy them, David. Here's the Casino Royale one. How badass is that? And then on the back of the chocolate, mm. very cool. Um, what, what, do you, what movie out of these do you like? We've got Spectre, we've got Dr. No, we've got The Spy Who Loved Me, we've got just a basic, 007 Do they all taste one? the same? Or? They're, they're all going to taste the same. Oh. But this is a little kid in us. It's like, I want the spy who loved me. I want the... I like the one with the Union Jack, um, because that's one of the, the best pre-sequence. Totally. Or pre-title sequences. Pre-title PTS, yes. PTSD. It's not PTSD. <laughs> this video is going to be PTSD. <laughs> you drink all my champagne, eat my chocolate. All right, so here we go. Now, I'm wondering if this will taste the same. This is... Um, well, maybe is a percentage different on it. Is there percentages of chocolate? Well, yeah. Oh, we have A View to a Kill, Spy Who Loved Me, You Only Live Twice, Casino Royale, and Spectre. And there's a little descriptor of each one on the back. Hmm. All right, here we go. So it doesn't have the percentage of chocolate? This tastes... Texture is different on this. Mm. So this one has 33.5% mm. cocoa solids. Okay, and this one has 33.5%. Okay, so it's the same. 
but it, it tastes smoother. Why is that? Maybe because it's thinner? So you're, you're seeing my wonderful bitten version, which is so appealing to the audience, but... Yeah, because it would melt in your mouth a little bit differently if the chocolate is thinner. Mm. It'll melt a little bit faster, mm -hmm. and so you get that really that silky, smooth texture on your tongue, which is it's very, quite nice. By the way, my beautiful chocolate table is a mess. <laughs> well, that's, you know... It looks like a child after Halloween. Carbon Ellen Walker are sitting there like, it seems like a good idea to send him some chocolate. Well, it's meant to be enjoyed. We're enjoying your chocolate over some wonderful champagne. Oh, that's why I forgot to order that. The champagne, I'm telling you folks, I don't know what your plans are. Some of you may just get the chocolate and just, if it rots, it rots. You'll just kind of have it out there. Um, we like to enjoy chocolate with things, wouldn't you say? Like a good meal, after a good meal. Sure. <laughs> on its own, with, any, with toothpaste. Any time, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so here is um, here is the piece de la resistance, as uh, Mademoiselle Chabonet would say. So this, I want to show everybody how nicely wrapped this is. And by the way, uh, that first bar is about a nine dollar bar, not not inexpensive. You know, just to be totally frank, nine yeah. nine dollar chocolate bar. But the way it's wrapped, it's beautiful. It, it makes such a wonderful gift. Mm-hmm. It does. Being that we're getting into the holiday season, heading there soon, I think that would be a really nice thing to bring to somebody. I'm not giving that to anybody. <laughs> um, just FYI. But but uh, the, the, the last one we just had is about $10, but there's a lot of individual bars. Yeah, this one right fun. here is 20 Okay? And it is, again, beautifully wrapped. You can see the back of it. It's got this wonderful bow. <laughs> I love how... Vanna is doing her thing behind here. And when you undo it, this is the cool thing you see. And I want to keep all these, so I've got to be careful. Um, look at that. So it's 007 Dry Martini Truffles. Oh, all right, yes. all right. So everybody stand back. Uh, cocoa Dusted Dark Chocolate. Ooh. So their specialty is not milk chocolate. It's actually dark chocolate. Oh, okay. So this is going to be interesting. With a martini-infused chocolate ganache center, I do happen to know there's gin in here as well as lemon peel. Ooh, yum. So it essentially made a Vesper Ooh. is what they did. All right. So um, I'm, I'm going to gonna take Coral's knife. You know who Coral is? Mm. He thought there was a dragon on that island. Oh, Coral, you're so funny. I have no quarrel with you. Terrible. <laughs> you're, such, you're such a geek. You're like a good-looking geek. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take it off, and <laughs> we're greeted by paper. And then, oh, Ooh. come on, people. Okay, very nice. So let me put down the accoutrements here. This is really nice. So smell. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to give you a full description of this because... You need to know, many of you, I think, are going to gravitate to this because it is martini, truffles. It's kind of their signature of this. It's very there is, too. Yeah, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten in there. Um, so they are delicate. They're supposed to be enjoyed. So I'm going to ask you not to eat this like popcorn. But here, <laughs> ladies so first. Do oh. This is a hardship. Now, I guess when I'm going to take a little champagne first because I want to clear my palate. Okay. Oh, so good. But I'm really going to be looking for the the martini taste, the the gin, and even the lemon. Oh. <laughs> I think I Did just you just cocoa get on my nose. cocoa powder? <laughs> this is why I can't work with uh, dogs, children, or Danielle. I wanted to. We're just going to be quiet for a second. Let me give you a subject. Um, the Civil War was neither a war nor civil. Talk amongst yourself. Mm. I'm getting the citrus. For sure. Mm. I got the lemon too. Mm-hmm. I think I'm tasting gin. I think I'm actually tasting gin, but the dark chocolate is very prevalent. 
The dark chocolate is amazing. It's so wow. good. I mean, is it dusted in cocoa around the dark chocolate? And then you have the inside. That's really rich. Which is the gin, the vodka, and the lemon. Yes, What'd and I, I do taste the gin, and I do taste the, the, the citrus, which I guess would be the lemon. Yes. It's really nice. It actually, you know, it's so funny because sometimes dark chocolate can be very heavy. It could be a bit cloying. <laughs> That's a, that is a... <laughs> anyway, that so... That is a descriptor, cloying, if it's like, you know, too... The citrus, though, brings it this very nice, light... Yes. Bright and it kind of balances it a little bit. You say it brightens it? It brightens it. I, I, that was from a chopped. That was one chopped, right? I don't know. It's quite good, though. It is so good. Mm. Oh, my gosh. And I can see how you can't have a gajillion of them. Mm -mm. Um, because they're super rich. They're very rich. Very rich. But you want another one? I'm going to finish this one first. I'm going to have one just because I do want to... Um, I'm going to use my quarrel knife here, see if I can cut my finger in half. I want to show everybody the inside. And the quality me. of that dark chocolate is really good. So I'll hold it up and see if we can... But you see what the inside is? It's kind of got like that dusted and everything else is kind of the filling. Hmm. The second one's even Just better. The, the quality in the dark chocolate is excellent i've had a lot of dark chocolate in my day from all over the world yeah and this is really nice quality really so nice quality total fair balance to mm. be very trans ah, ah! um to be totally <laughs> transparent uh danielle kind of reintroduced me or maybe just even introduced me to dark chocolate i had only been a milk chocolate person sometimes even white chocolate which is not chocolate. which is not chocolate i've been told that's not chocolate but it's delicious and so fatty. Um, but essentially, the dark chocolate, I've, I'm going to love it. However, oh, did I get this all over me? you have chocolate on your nose right now and on your <laughs> arm. We need to do like close-up shots. It's we need full, to do B-roll. It's a full immersion experience. Oh, Sharp and Ellen Walker. Thank you. Um, I No, but uh, I've had some gritty dark chocolate. Uh, yeah, it can be. But when dark chocolate has that smoothness where mm -hmm. uh, you can almost let it disappear in your mouth, that's the goal, and that's what this does. Mm, that's very good. Talk to me about that second one. Now, I said talk to me now. No, take your time. Enjoy it. I'm getting more of the creaminess of the... Um... Oh, hon. You got it on your shirt, too. It's a good thing we didn't have a pizza party. <laughs> if they come out with James Bond pizza, we're all doomed. You're going to look like just Missy Marvin. Anyway. Yes. I think, um, actually, I think because you cut it in half rather than biting it, I was able to really kind of taste that smoothness. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe and that's the creaminess why... of, the, of the filling. All right. I didn't, I mean, I still got that before, but I got it even more the second time around. So maybe we hacked somebody's life out there. Try to cut maybe the cut truffle them. in half, share the truffle with somebody. It's going to make it last longer. Plus... Maybe we tasted it more because mm. it didn't get like that overt amount of dark chocolate and dusting together. For whatever reason, maybe it's just surface area or whatever, but. This is your type of a review, isn't it? The Rouge dress from No Time to <laughs> Die, not so much. And there it sits. Um, but this, what do you think overall? Delicious. Good quality chocolate. Very smooth. Oh. Um, they obviously know what they're doing. They You know what you're doing. Oh, sorry. I actually, I probably don't. You but don't. as somebody who loves chocolate, this is very good. It was very good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, popping in. Is that my cue to leave? No. <laughs> I mean, now that you've had chocolate and champagne, you might as we might as this is dinner. Yeah, a little more. <laughs> this is dinner. Oh God, this is dinner. Anyway, um, this has been Danielle Zaretsky. <laughs> Keep drinking your champagne and David Zaretsky for the Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.